look at uh, once again the st elevation mi so the st elevation mi diagnostic dilemma when we say dilemma it means a situation in which difficult choice has to be made between two different things you can do so there are two choices and the dilemma is always which choice is the best for the patient so that's what going to happen in STEMI sometimes and those are the situations you are going to see and we are going to see in this lecture so before that lecture I just want to mention that uh, as you know we are the world number one in the incidence prevalence complications young infarcts virulent progression as well as mortality due to coronary heart disease for decades we are world number one but are we world number one in the management of STEMI so that's what shown in this big registry one of the biggest registries in coronary heart disease I will say even the first registry of coronary heart disease uh, coronary heart disease in India that is uh, the Kerala registry and this Kerala registry told us that still our mortality for ST elevation MI is 8.2 almost three times more than the western world in ST elevation MI and what is very important to realize is that uh, only 41 percent of ST elevation MI who are supposed to get are getting the thrombolysis and 59 patients percent of patients with semi even in advanced state like Kerala are not getting the right treatment they are not getting the thrombolytic therapy whereas when you look at this non ST elevation ACS where thrombolysis is not to be given 19 percent of patients received the thrombolytic therapy so this data tells us that the people are not receiving the appropriate therapy and sometimes they receive inappropriate therapy so this data tells us we are not definitely world number one in the management of acute coronary syndrome this is because of the poor understanding of the ECG and sometimes a diagnostic dilemma not only in the diagnosis of the STEMI and sometimes we miss the early changes of STEMI sometimes we mistake other conditions as STEMI and also having diagnosed STEMI what treatment to be given is also a sometimes a dilemma so these are the situations we are going to see so the dilemmas are the definition itself has got lot of dilemmas then we look at the briefly the pathophysiology or recollect the pathophysiology of acute coronary syndrome what is the ECG criteria to diagnose STEMI then we look at three dilemmas one is not seeing what is there that is missing STEMI some early subtle changes you may completely miss 